Hey everybody, it is Jamie again with another verse of the day devotional. Uh, yesterday I posted Jude 124 or Jude 24. It's only one chapter in the entire book, so the 24th verse of Jude. Uh, and this is actually from the easy to read translation. Uh, sometimes I like to look at different translations and I really liked this one. God is strong and can keep you from falling. He can bring you before his glory without any wrong in you and give you great joy. I don't know if you guys know this, but Ben is a very outdoorsy guy. He is at his happiness when he is out in the quiet wilderness, surrounded by nature. That is just the epitome of happiness and joy for him. Um, uh, his parents owned a river rafting company for a very long time. He was a river rafting guide for a while. Now, as a river rafting guide, you think, what, is, what do you do as a river rafting guide? Well, you can guide people down the river and uh, safely guide them through rapids and also point out rocks that look like frogs. Make it fun, right? Uh, but that's not all he did. He also had his wilderness first aid uh, certification where he was able to keep people safe and if something happened, take care of them. He would take people on hikes and guide them up mountains. And he also took people rock climbing. He has so many fun stories, you guys, it's awesome. Uh, but I actually went rock climbing when I was like 10 or 11. I was super nervous, but I was so excited because it looks like so much fun. So uh, the way rock climbing works, when you, especially when you go into a rock climbing gym, because that's the only thing I know. Ben has done it in the true outdoors. I never have. But in a rock climbing gym, you put on a harness around your waist and your legs, and then there is a rope that goes from floor to ceiling and then back down again uh, with lots of extra, and you hook that rope onto your harness at your waist. And there are like grab holds rocks on the wall that you literally climb up. And then a lot of times there's like a button or a pull string at the very top where you can celebrate that you've climbed all your way, all the way to the top. So, um, oh, and there is usually somebody on the ground below you that has the other side of that rope in case you slip and fall. And they are called, they are on belay, right? On belay. Uh, and they make sure you're safe, that you don't just fall from 20 feet up, that they catch you. Uh, so a couple of years ago, I mentioned this to Ben, that I had only been rock climbing the once and you know, I might be willing to try it again. Well, of course, Ben got so excited. I was like, we're going, we're going as soon as possible. We're gonna find a rock climbing gym, let's do this. And I was like, yeah. This, this is a great idea, right? This sounds like so much fun. Uh, and then I got there. And I'm not afraid of heights. I'm more afraid of falling from heights. And I got to the rock climbing gym with Ben and we signed all the paperwork. I put on a brave face, got my harness on. Um, and then I looked at the wall and I got really nervous. And Ben was like, okay, Let's hook you up, let's get you up there. And I tried to make every excuse possible. Uh, well, maybe maybe you should start, I wanna start on the easiest route. Um, I gotta go pee, my spleen is exploding. Of course he saw through all of my excuses. And he was like, no, 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 no. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, I got you. Um, and that's when when Ben was hooking me up and he was attaching himself uh, to the belay, that I realized I was no longer 10. I was double the size I was when I was 10. And if I fell, that's double the weight that Ben had has to catch. Like, that's terrifying that my life was now in my husband's hands. And I got really nervous. That was a very, very hard day. And Ben kept trying to like point out the button at the top of the wall. Look, you're gonna be able to hit that and feel so proud of yourself. And all I could think about was that Ben was the only thing 
preventing me from falling if I slip while I'm climbing. And I have to put all of my trust in him and his body strength that I wouldn't get hurt. Now, we as Christians are on an eternal climb. We always keep striving to move onward and upward, uh, trying to be more like Christ. And it can be super scary. We don't know God's plans. We don't know what the future holds. Our first steps on our climb might feel super confident and secure. We, we know exactly what to do. But with climbing, there comes weariness. Your muscles start to get tired. You start to question things. You're, you, you wonder if you're taking the right route, the right path. Are you grabbing the right rocks? But God is always there as we climb to, to catch us, encourage us, and help us reach the button at the top of the wall that we can feel proud that we made it that far. We've done it. He is always there on belay, ready to catch us if we fall and help us get back up. Um, I still enjoy rock climbing, even if I'm not great at it. But um, sorry, Ben, I feel better with God on belay. So I'm going to pray, you guys. Dear Lord, thank you for always being there to catch us. Even if we slip up, even if we question ourselves, even if we get tired, Lord, you are there to be there with us, to take a deep breath, to help us get back up. And you're always there to catch us, Lord, so that we never come to harm. Lord, please guide us with your knowledge and wisdom so that we do take the right route, Lord, that we are able to hit the button at the top of the wall. Lord, thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.